Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome to a brand new playthrough. Now, just before we get started on that, this is a little post-record update. Um, basically, since this first video, I've gone ahead and finished the entirety of Elden Ring. So, this is just a thing to say, you know, you don't need to worry about giving me advice or tell me where to go or... I'm gonna get confused. It's a confusing game, but you don't need to worry about any of that. It's already all done. You can just kind of chill and enjoy it and uh, laugh at me if you want to, but... Um, Either way, my point really is that don't worry about giving tips or advice because it's bloody useless. <laughs> right, I hope you really enjoy the playthrough, let's get started. Hey folks, this is Vagrant with a brand new playthrough. Tonight we're going to start Elden Ring. I've been really excited for this game for a really long time. Now, I'm actually playing on release night. I didn't want to wait. So you guys have probably seen this at least a few weeks after I first recorded it. I'm basically going to record it at my own time across the next few weeks, kind of enjoy it a little bit, and then eventually you guys will catch up here on the channel. I just didn't want everything to be spoiled for me, so I'm just going to enjoy it and play it and uh, do my thing, you know, before the before it's all over the internet, basically. Uh, we're playing on PC, playing with a Xbox uh, One, Xbox Series X controller, and let's get started. I really don't know anything whatsoever, and that's a very exciting idea, because I've never ha experienced that. I suppose with Dark Souls 3, I didn't really know anything, but generally speaking, I've always got to the Soulsborne games moderately late. Actually, Sekiro, I don't know, I'm talking nonsense, apparently. Okay, so we need to... Hello. <laughs> we need to pick a character. Um, ah, right, okay, so we've got Vagabond, who has high vigor, which I'm assuming is health. Mind, I don't know what that does. Wait, is there a... Explanation? Ah, right, okay, let's, let's let's find out what these stats do. Level. Okay, we got that. You can level up using runes. Uh, a vigor is fire resistance and immunity. And your HP total. Mind is your FP. Maybe that's focus points. Uh, endure, I don't know what focus does, but that's never here nor there. <laughs> uh, endurance is stamina, robustness, and how heavy your equipment can be. Strength is big boy weapons, basically, and physical defense. Dexterity is wielding advanced armaments, um, boosts attack power of dexterity scaling armaments, reduces casting time of spells, softens fall damage, makes it harder to be knocked off your horse. Intelligence required to perform glintstone sorceries, boosts magic power of intelligence scaling sorceries, improves magic resistance. Faith is for sacred incantations. Arcane is for discovery items and stuff like that. Holy defense, vitality, certain sorceries. Okay, cool. Let's get rid of that help. Click the wrong button. Fantastic. <laughs> so I tend to, on my first playthrough on these games, at the very least, I tend to play a sword and board sort of character. I don't tend to go for magic the first time around. I just, I just kind of want to play a fairly standard sword, shield, tanky sort of dude. So, high health, High strength, good dexterity. Vagabond is already looking pretty solid, plus it helps that the armor looks awesome. <laughs> it is worth noting these are starting classes. If it's anything like the other games, you can kind of just go do your own thing afterwards. It's more just what equipment you're going to get at the start and how your stats are uh, laid out. So the warrior is higher dexterity. It's more dexterity focused than the Vagabond, seemingly. The hero is vigor, endurance, and strength. So I think... Um, 14, it's a little bit lower. Lower dexterity, higher strength. Kind of more, like a more brutal, less tanky version of the Vagabond, I suppose. Then we've got the Bandit, who's probably decent dexterity, but also high arcane. So they can find a lot of stuff. Makes sense. Astrologer, which is high in mind. The Prophet, with a lovely neck piece, is high in mind as well, but much higher in faith. Samurai, that's pretty cool. High dexterity, good strength, good endurance, good vigor, decent mind as well, actually. Prisoner, looking terrifying. <laughs> high dexterity and high intelligence. Confessor, faith and mind. And Wretch, of course, who starts at the lowest level and has the highest stats for that thing. I think we're going to roll with the Vagabond. It might be a little bit boring, but... Oh, right. Uh, I, actually, weirdly enough, do I play men in these games? I don't know now that I think about it. Yeah, go on then. I used to play a woman, but I'm not. I'm just vibing with, vibing with a dude today. He shall be called Dude. Welcome to the journey of Dude. He's gonna be a buff dude. <laughs> Mature. 
Yeah, he's been around a little bit. Origin, Vagabond, Keepsake. Okay. So usually you can pick like a starting item. Uh, what have we got here? Increases max HP. Okay, that's pretty good for my character. Used to gain many runes. That's like a level up thing. I don't like that as much because you can always farm for levels if need be. Set to reinforce sacred flask, which I'm assuming is in Estus system. Set to hold spirits. Container for certain throne items. A key. A couple of keys. Breaks the seal and imp statues can only be used once. Uh, five sacred branches. Charged with beguiling power. So that sounds like a... Like a mind control or taking over the opposition kind of thing. Boosts physical damage. Oh, it's five pieces. I don't really like temporary things. I think I'm going to go for this because it seems like it's going to be a permanent increase. Maybe it's an equipable, but at least it'll be good for the early stages. Let's go for the crimson. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> they all look a little terrifying. Um. God. The night folk. Who's that called? Though? Reedlander. Reedlander's looking pretty cool. And he changed his hair up a little bit more than anything else. Maybe his beard. His chin. That's a weak ass chin you got there, son. Uh, da, 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 da. Hair. Let's change that first of all. No. No. Not an emo kid. Could be an emo kid. He's a buff dude. <laughs> oh, right. You can do all the hairstyles. I've got to say, the, the hairstyling definitely looks better than it did back in... Um, the hair, I mean, the hair looks fantastic, doesn't it? Bloody Nora, it looks really good. It's going to be a pretty normal dude. I'll brighten that hair a little bit, I think. Yeah, similar to my hair colour. Luster. It's in... Sure, he's lustrous. Really doing anything is it white hairs yeah you know he's, he's aged you know he's, he's getting on a little bit there's nothing wrong with that facial hair not not good enough if we're gonna have a beard we're gonna have a proper beard yes okay cool <laughs> and we need a proper chin face structure chin his chin really annoys me <laughs> i don't know why um protrusion I feel like he's just leaning his head forward. Chin size, bigger chin. Width as well. It's a buff dude. Okay, it's looking good. It's looking good. Looking cool. Similar face? No. I don't know what that means. Okay, yeah, he's looking, he's looking like a bit of a chad. Um, I'm give him a big head. Holding his big old brain. Abdomen, maxed out, obviously. Chest, maxed out, obviously. My boy's hench. <laughs> Arms, maxed. They just maxed out everything. <laughs> He's been lifting. He's a big boy. Oh my god, the legs. The legs. Abundant body. Is that abundant? I've got more body hair than that. Is that abundant body hair? I definitely have more body hair than that. All right, cool. Buff dude is done. Let's go. <laughs> it just disappears anyway. <laughs> he has a cape, though. That's cool. Capes are always cool. Everyone loves a cape. You see Etna from Bloody... Is it Etna? Is she called Etna? Something like that. From Bloody Incredibles. Now capes. The Fallen. Tell a story. The great Elden Ring was shattered. In our home, across the fog, the lands between. America the Eternal is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, 
Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Maricus offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. again bless a tarnished of no renown cross the fog to the lands between to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. Will do. <laughs> I always thought these, these games just throw just bizarre names at you and all this nonsense, like just get over it and deal with it. This is the world now. <laughs> oh, that's my pre-order bonus. Praise the Elden Ring. Okay. Well, here we are, Elden Ring. Looking quite nice. Looking like a Soulsborne game, if we're honest, but that's okay. I can jump, which is absolute goddamn madness. <laughs> I've been waiting like 20 games for that to happen. I found a finger. Though the, th though the path be broken and uncertain, claim your place as Elden Lord. So me as a Tarnished are going to venture to the lands between. Is there a photo mode? Oh, but there's a crouch. And, uh, oh. Oh. With the map menu, you can check. There's a map for us all. Well, that's mind boggling. <laughs> With the map menu, you can check your current position in terrain and buildings in surrounding area. You can also freely place beacons of light to service landmarks as you explore. Lastly, through your map, you can select any site of grace you discovered and travel there instantaneously. However, there are some dungeons and other areas where this can't be done. Okay, makes sense. When I look around. So I really want to try to... I'm never going to understand the story, okay? <laughs> he needed a degree to understand the story. I mean, I have a degree, but not the not the right degree. But the point is more that you kind of have to spend a lot of time poring over the lore and piecing it all together. But I'd like to immerse myself as much as possible in that experience throughout this playthrough. I gotta say, I heard complaints about the stuttering stuff on PC. This is smooth as anything. It's crazy. It feels really good. At the Chapel of Anticipation. Be wary of fingers. But I already picked up the finger. <laughs> Try jumping. 
No, shut up. Whoa, whoa, hello. Oh my god, it's like Yggdrasil. That's beautiful. Let's have a little explore. Still no rump. Okay. Don't you dare. <laughs> Let me just watch that guy. Okay, he seemed to walk across fine. Are we okay? Yeah, we're okay. <laughs> Trust him. That, that dude going in front of me would keep me alive. Be wary of corpse. So, yeah, for those who've seen the other Soulsborne games, you'll know... Well, I mean, as far as I know, the major difference with this one, of course, is that this is a open world game, which is, of course, immensely unusual for the series. And that you can jump as well, apparently, which is even more unusual as far as I'm concerned. I mean, it looks incredible. It really does. Death ahead. Yeah, you say that, but I'm a baller, so what are you going to do? Look at that, man. Look at it. It's large and glowy. Oh. Ah! <laughs> no. How do I... Ah, okay. Yeah, I get it. I get it. You're doing the Dark Souls thing. I understand. Can I get through this gate? Sanctuary? Nope. Okay. Interesting. Um. 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 Nope. Keep on rolling. Keep on rolling. <laughs> um, there's no way out. <laughs> Alright. Come on then. I've already lost half my bloody health. You terrifying son of a bitch. Okay. <laughs> I think I was meant to die there. Although I'm sure you can kill it, I'm sure there's some bonus little reward. I will have my revenge on the Scion. Torrent. Fortune is on his side. We found him here, after all. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. <laughs> yeah, just keep throwing it at me. <laughs> It'll all make sense eventually, maybe. Hello, little tree. You seem to be important. I've heard a lot of talk about gold and stuff like that already. Royalty is always quite a big theme in this. Flask of Crimson Tears, Flask of Cerulean Tears. Okay. Can I find, like, information out about these ones? Oh. So, okay, so what I'd like to do is track my deaths throughout this series, kind of like what we did with uh, Halo, so feel free to do that in the comment section down below. That one doesn't count, however, okay? It was a planned story death, even though technically you can probably kill that fight. Hey. Take the plunge. Do you want me to jump off here? 
Alright. Oh. I mean, if the creepy ghost tells me to do something, I'm gonna do it. Recall the arts of war and your warrior's blood. Okay, well, I'm gonna go look around first, ghost boy, and then I'll jump off the edge, okay? Oh, tree. Okay, tree doesn't do anything. Am I going to assume that I can't open this? I can. But now I feel like I'm betraying the ghost. If I don't go... I'm gonna go jump off the edge. <laughs> I feel like... I feel like the goat is the ghost is a good dude. He's chilling in his golden... Why, why would he just sit there? Unless he's just trolling. <laughs> you know, I just... I was very curious about that over there. Hmm. You know, he seems like a solid dude. Beats roll. And I don't think he'd mess me around. LT to block. Right trigger to that. RT heavy attack. Yeah, that's all good. Alright, I'm, trust I'm trusting you, ghost boy. Switch item. So I got... I don't know what these do. <laughs> Can we find out? Do I have an inventory? Yeah, obviously. In the inventory menu, you can prize the items you're carrying. Drop them on the ground, throw them away. You can also use tools from the inventory menu. So, large image and explanation. X. Oh! A sacred flask. Okay, it restores HP. Yeah, so that's my um, healing. My Estes flask, basically. Is that the magic equivalent? Yeah. Which I probably don't need very often, but we'll see. There's my finger. Oh, that's how we write to other people. Okay, cool. Got a long sword. Oh, I've got a halberd as well, actually. It does more damage. But it's much, much heavier. Got a shield, a vagabond set, and that which is giving me... Um, an amount of exp HP. I'm not sure how much. I'm always a little nervous playing these games when you're going in completely blind like this. Resting in that site of grace will restore your HP, FP, and cleanse any status ailments. It will also refill your sacred flasks. However, the enemies will be revived. You can find them where light converges. The explanations... Okay, cool. Well, we don't really need to... I saw there's no reason not to. Look, it looks like a humanity. It's like a little person. Floating above a bonfire. The message is bloody everywhere at the moment. That'll, that'll calm down as we get... Oh, hello. Can I ninja? I suppose I'm not really built to ninja. Therefore, I won't. <laughs> ah. Yeah, boy. Oh! Strong attack. Hwa. Hwa. Use an armament in your left hand or both hands to guard against incoming attacks. Guarding is especially effective in double shield. Guarding consumes stamina. Okay. I'm gonna block. Are you ready for this? MLG? Sorry. <laughs> I got excited. Oh, there's another one. Uh, roll and back step. Okay. Whoa. Okay, B for backstab. Go on, attack me. Alright. Come on. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> I tried. I guess I've built more as a blocker than a roller, but I tend to roll, so maybe I picked the wrong character. Maybe I should have gone for the warrior now that I think about it. I don't tend to play blockers and parriers as opposed to I like I tend to like to roll. Maybe I've made a mistake. Probably have. <laughs> Oh, well, I mean, we can, like I said, we can always change that. Oh, hello. He's trying to, trying to bloody kill me, yes? In every corner of the lands between, you'll find fruits and flowers, mushrooms and butterflies, and various other useful materials. These materials can be used for item crafting, can rower fruits, okay. Now, if we ever want to, oh, right, I need a safe space if I'm going to do this. Okay, there's a sprint. That's cool. Doesn't seem to use my stamina either. Oh yeah, there it goes. Wielding armaments. Each hand can be equipped with up to three armaments, allowing you to toggle between them. Armaments can also be two-handed, making attacks more difficult to repel with shields and boosting effective strength by 50%. Okay, 
Okay. <laughs> okay. So I can one-hand it. Or if I hold Y and I press LB and RB. I'm two, right, I'm two-handed my didn't mean to do that. Okay, bear with me. Ah, right. Oh, right, okay, yeah, I get it, I get it. I gotcha. Yeah, so I think what we've kind of done is... I'm going to start maybe going more into dexterity and stuff like that. We'll see how it goes. I'm not, I'm not going to plan anything out too much at a time. Okay. Oh, part of the fire. I can't see now. All right, can I parry? Let's find out. Not like that, I can't. I feel like I just need to learn how to parry more than anything else. It's a skill I've never really had. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm just gonna bloody do that if you make me. <laughs> Brought this upon yourself, skeleton man. Alright. Hey, hey, hey. I love those bloodstains here. So many people have died here. <laughs> Armaments have special abilities called skills. Skills are highly varied and range from powerful attacks to temporary effects. Using skills consumes FP. Oh, okay. Wait, so what does it do? I have no idea. Is that the skill? No. Maybe it's this? Maybe I need to... Yeah, okay. That's the skill for the, uh... Crouching makes it harder for enemies to discover you, especially effective in tall grass. Attacking an enemy that hasn't noticed you causes more damage. Ninja mode. Ninja mode. Stealth! In a Soulsborn game. What a weird world we live in, folks. Oh. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Don't go into the long grass. Da -da 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 -da. Don't turn around now, that would be a dick move. Right through the upper pelvis. Some attacks may break an enemy's stance, giving you a chance to perform a critical hit. Charge attacks and jump attacks make it particularly easy to break. Oh, okay, I can jump attack, that's cool. Nice! Oh, that's pretty sweet. And they've always got like a teeny tiny sliver of health left. I always think they're dead and they're just they're still standing there. Upon dying, you'll be revived at the last site of grace that you visited. However, if there's a stake of Marika near where you died, you can choose to be revived there instead. Hey, Marika. So Marika was... The Queen? Royalty? Of some description? And she had the Elden Ring and then it got broken and dispersed amongst these terrible demigods, her children. Who I suspect are the big bosses of the game. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you know what this means. Soldier of Godric. Alright, soldier boy, let's dance. You can perform a counter-attack immediately after block it. Oh right, okay. So I just block. Gotta remember not to be cocky, it's a, it's a Dark Souls game! Okay. I think this is the, um, I think this is optional, basically. And I think it's meant to be like a little tutorial dungeon for newbies. And I guess I've never played the game before, but I'm not a complete newbie to the whole shebang, you know? Dog. Dog? I don't know how to say it, dog. Well done, buddy. So what I was going to say before <laughs> is that um, if we want to learn the story of this world and everything like that, then what we need to do, to an extent at least, is read 
item equipment and stuff like that, essentially. So we're going to. I think that's a fun idea. A sacred flask modelled to the same, right? A sacred flask modelled after a golden holy chalice that was once graced by a tear of blessing. You can see the tree inside it a little bit, right? Yeah, you can see the roots and everything. The tree's clearly important. Filled with crimson tears, this flask, blah, blah, blah. The one washed up on the grave site was sure to die until this flask offered its gift of rejuvenation to seek the Elden Ring. So I was going to die until the flasks came in and saved the day, basically. Memory of Grace. The memory of First Grace, which once guided bygone Tarnished to the lands between. This def definitely sounds like a limbo kind of thing, right? I'm a Tarnished. The area we're in is the land between. Lose all runes, return. Merely a cycle. Stand before the Elden Ring, become the Elden Lord. Merely a cycle. That's very Dark Souls. Uh, tarnished Wizened Finger. A finger of corpse wax. So emaciated the bone is visible. It is a relic of those who came before, left to help those who would come after. We can even do it for the fruits. Easily found everywhere. Okay, that's a bit of a useless one. What about my like equipment? Skill swaps the sword held level. Follow the normal attack. Hmm. Do I have to double hand it? Maybe. Helm of Night banished from their motherland. Dirty and battered after enduring a lengthy vagabond journey. The visor is broken, can no longer be lowered. Metal armor is heavy, but also sturdy. Yeah, same deal. I'm not going to go too nuts into the item descriptions and stuff like that, but if you find something interesting, you might dabble. Oh, uh, it's the loot from before, isn't it? Wait, how did I end up back here? I didn't even realise I was going up, to be honest. Oh, it's a... It's a thing. Alright, good job, gang. We did it. MLG Gamer. All right, now we can go up here. Yeah, it got a little bit slow down there. There were apparently some performance issues on PC. My PC is a bit of a monster. I definitely shouldn't be getting slow down. Touch Grace. I used to have a girlfriend called Grace. I'm sure she'd appreciate this. <laughs> Man, I'm so excited to play this game. It's crazy. Oh, hello. Yes. Wait, I have one? I don't have one. <laughs> it's looking around for it. That's a twin imp statue or something like that. Maybe this guy's got one. Use tarnished filled... Use tarnished filled finger blade in order to write a gold summon sign. Cooperative multiplayer will begin once you've been summoned. Okay. You can take the role of an ally and your objective is to defeat the area boss. Comes at the top of the screen in the case of direction. Cool. Finger severer? I guess that's for people who take the, um... Remember there was an option in our items at the start? You could pick the thing that would open those up. This dude has been burnt to a bloody crisp. And that's how I like my corpses. Crispy, but... Still. You just know people do this on purpose. <laughs> Something incredible ahead. Don't believe you! There's a dude on a horse over there. There's a dude over there. It's big old oh, birdies! Hello. Can we hang out? Yo, what is that? Hey guys. Well, I found a thing. Oh, there's a message. Got excited there for a minute. Bloody message ruining everything. Oh wow, okay. Cave of Knowledge, Stranded Graveyard, Stranded... What does this mean? Oh, is it Sites of Grace? Right, okay. Okay, so they're... Th can I teleport to them, like, right now, then? Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. Alright, well... Let's have a little poke around, I suppose. I mean, 
how can you not love this game? It just, it just it doesn't tell you where to go. You just get shoved out into this massive world. and like, yeah, sort it out. <laughs> go do your thing. I am being guided, I think, hence the, uh, the glowiness, but... There's no quest pop-up, there's no one telling me what to do. I love that. Grace exists to guide the Tarnish and lead them along the proper path. Even now, some sites of Grace retain that power. Their golden rays will guide you along the way. Use your map to check your current position, as well as the terrain and surrounding structures. You can update your map with new information by finding map fragments as stells along the road. You can also use the map to freely play speakers to light the surf. Okay. Hello. Oh, yes. Tarnished, are we? Yeah. Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Yeah. Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. <laughs> Tell me about it. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless, me, Vare. Take care to listen. Are you familiar with grace, the golden light that gives life to you tarnished. You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace, a path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm, indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow even if it leads you to your grave. That's ominous. Grace's guidance to Castle Stormvale, over on the cliff, the home of the decrepit demigod, Godric the Grafted. I guess that's my first boss. It's time you set off, I should think, to Castle Stormvale on the cliff, where Grace would guide you. If you seek the Elden Ring, maidenless as you are. Sure, we're talking like this This uh, little map at the top, you know, my little radar thing, it seems very low down, doesn't it? Am I crazy? Shouldn't that be, like, substantially higher? Right? <laughs> I think I just handed tap Y as I explore the world. Um, I saw a thing. What's that over there? So this is about all I know about this game, in that one thing you should do is just... Uh, just... just point yourself in directions and go explore and do crazy things and don't worry too much about everything. Just feel free to explore, you know? Oh, nice. That worked. Golden Rune. Alright. What is it? It's a rabbit. Come here! Come here! <laughs> All I've done is murder creatures in Horizon. I'm not gonna stop now. Thin beast bones. It's just what I wanted. Wait, how have people died here? Okay, I'm gonna take that as a sign that I shouldn't jump off that edge. <laughs> I think that's safe to say. Hmm. Maybe I can dash jump? So I think. Maybe I need to be lighter. Let's have a poke around. So obviously I'm meant to be heading roughly in that direction. Um, I'm not sure I'm meant to go there straight away. It's kind of weird, right? I mean, what game does this? <laughs> it's like the whole Dark Souls thing, but kind of turned up to 11. In that I've just been shoved into this open world and told, right, alright, go do what you want, do your thing. I'm going to stop you. You may get slaughtered if you go a stupid way, but, you know, I trust you to, uh, to realise, basically. What's that over there? What's that down there? What are those? Well, I want to know what that stone thing is. Right, where am I? Am I being stupid? Yeah, probably. Let's go explore. Sorry, birdie. K. 
Okay, it's like a bat. Is this a terrible idea? <laughs> I mean, I guess there's no way to find out unless I try. There are bodies hung up everywhere, which is slightly disconcerting. Yeah, screw you, cart. It's my house now. Hmm, I think I might avoid the pit. Yeah, easy does it. Yeah, there we go. Smithing stone, okay. Another rune. Where is it? That's what I was looking for, there. That thing there, that little... I want the camera to stay. <laughs> it keeps moving down. I want it to stay, like, in the position that I select, thanks. What is this? It's a grave, isn't it? Some spooky looking dudes over there. Oh! It's Bat Fink! Okay, they're not that scary. That's, that's reassuring. And maybe I can come down here without looking like a total idiot. Alright, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! I did it again. <laughs> I thought it was dead. It had like a sliver of health left and I thought it was dead. How do I heal? I actually don't know. Actually, I actually have no idea. There's so many of them! <laughs> Whew. Vanquishing an enemy group replenishes your flasks. Oh, okay. Okay, but how do I use them? <laughs> X. All right, well, it would have been good to know that beforehand, admittedly, but let's see what they were doing over here, eh? I knew they were. I knew I saw you, you cheeky little blighter. Another rune. Cool. I might do like a loop de loop. There's a, there's a path up. I mean, oh, there's a site over there. Cool. Let's go. I see the sights of grace leading me over. Oh, oh, oh. Behold, death. I mean, I'm, I'm, I think there probably is a way down there. <gasps> this is like a little cave thing. Oh no, we have to find a way down. So I get my health back, assumedly. Oh, when I rest. It's going to summon those bat boys, though. I can pass time, flasks. I charge the flask and increase them out. Read the you can allocate them with the ba ba you can have set total mega ba ba da da da. Okay. That's cool. Well, I think I probably just need health at the moment rather than FP, so let's go for that. Should be on full health and full flask. Okay, I'm gonna try not to go too crazy straight away. Although, what is that? <laughs> I need, to, I need to see what it is. The hell are you? What is that? What is that? It's like an octopus. But just the tentacle bit, you know? Some things over there. So I'm just want. I just keep seeing things. Oh, there's a battle going on in the distance. Okay. Well, I mean, that's kind of. Oh, this is a way down. Well, we can we can fast travel back here later on, right? You do sh just walking along. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, that that's a little terrifying. We've got like an ape-like appearance, and I hate apes. I <laughs> know. Oh, Got that. Wait, I think I should flask now. I think killing this one will get me it back. Yeah, okay. Glass shard. Glass shard. Alright, well, let's go see what's going on over here. 
Are they all gonna try to murder me? But I mean, there's those little spooky ape dudes. I don't like the spooky ape dudes. And I can't target the big boys, so. I'm gonna help out the big boys and assume I'm doing the right thing. That's my theory. I don't see a world where the ape dudes are on the on the right side of this. <laughs> oh what no! We're friends! I thought we were friends! Uh. Ape dude is my only friend now. <laughs> okay. So I'm not sure why everyone's trying to murder me and each other. We just... Just the way the cookie crumbles, I suppose. Wait, which way am I, am I going? I want to go that way, right? Sort of. I think my plan is to wrap around there. Sliver of meat. Hmm. Oh, 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 spooky. <laughs> oh, oh, there's a big crab. Oh, that seems like a very bad idea. That seems like a terrible idea to me. Hello, I'm going to leave you to it, buddy, if you don't mind. That guy makes me really nervous. That's like a that golden warrior riding around on horseback. Oh, it's turtles. <laughs> I mean, that's for the future, though. I don't think I'm going to go over that right now. I'm going in the sort of direction I want to go in. I want to go back over there. We've got a bannerman. Hey right, boys. How are we living? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! He's angry. No! God damn it! Oh, that was close. Okay. Well, I didn't intend to do this, but... I don't want to hurt the horse! Yeah! I'm sorry, horsey. But your man over there tried to start on me. Whew. <laughs> Banner dude's just been watching. I'm just very, I'm very curious about that hole in the rock over there. You probably can't do much, can you, pal? But you're out of your misery. Don't worry about it. Aristocrat garb. I feel like these are slaves and I should help them. You guys okay? You're free. Don't be scared of me. It's okay. I'll, I'll leave you to it. Just... Oh, they're spooked. Be okay, lads. These ones got a guard. Oh, hello. Ruin fragment. Interesting. Hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Not here to cause trouble. Yeah, I'm with you, though. Oh, no! Shush! Shut up! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, he's angry! Oh, he's so angry. Sit down, son. You guys okay? We chilling. Just here to get the loot, alright? 
I'm in trouble. Smoldering butterfly. Interesting. Oh, I've got a dagger and some bolts. That's cool. Am I going the right way? I think because I'm in combat, I'm not allowed on the map. Hey, no. Wait, what are you, what are you doing? It's like he was charging after me, and then I turned around to look at him, and he... Seems so almost sad that they're dead. I guess I want to go over there, right? Let's follow the path along. I just kind of want to enjoy the world, I guess, and just explore and walk and do my own thing. But uh, to, to an extent, you know, that's not, that's not going nuts. Take off the road a little bit here. The horseback dudes scare me more than anyone else. That was definitely the roughest we've had so far. Hey, boys. Ooh. Erdleaf flower. That's cool. I guess. <laughs> is it cool? I don't know. Oh, what is that? What is that thing? There's a thing. Somber smithing. Whoa. What is this? Well, that's where I'm going. <laughs> oh, that's... Wait, look at this. Okay. I don't know if that's something I want to get particularly involved in, if I'm honest. But I do kind of have to go that way. Um... Alright, that horse boy. Uh, hmm. I'm not totally sure I have an alternative, if I'm honest. Ah! I keep pressing the wrong bloody button. Come here. Oh. Yeah, that's how it's done. Hmm. I mean, I have to go this way. What else am I going to do? Hey. Oh, wow. what are these? All right, I'm very curious about these smoldering butterflies. I would go check my inventory, but I feel like it's not the best time right now. Actually, maybe it is. I'll let, I'll let those guys get ahead of me a little bit while I try to check it out. An eternally burning butterfly found near wildfires and elsewhere. Material use for crafting. Huh. That's all. Alright, horse boy. Come on, then. I don't think I'm getting away without killing you, am I? Ah! Ah! <sighs> angry I killed this horse. Oh, got new gauntlets though. All right, okay, they may be, they might be good actually. I did have to work for them. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I get that. Nope, they are worse on... The, I mean, they're lighter. But... Night is falling. Does not make me feel better about the situation. What is that over there? What is that? Oh my god! I keep pressing bloody square to crouch. It's because of bloody Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, Forbidden West. Oh, 
Right, what the hell is that? Ah! Oh, it's alive! Oh, it's a scout! Kill it! With a whetstone knife, you can use Ashes of War to grant your armaments new skills. An armament can only have one skill. An armament's type determines what skills it can have. Some special armaments have unique skills can be... With a whetstone... I, I know. <laughs> I got Ashes of War Determination. Are they heading towards the castle? Yeah, I'm going to go left at this point. Am I though? Aren't I going back up? Yeah, I kind of am. Hmm. Okay, I think I can probably get ahead of the procession now, because... Before I was kind of contained to this tiny little bridge, and now I've probably got a little bit more room to move around in. Is the hope. Pretty sure I just heard a horn blow, though. Doesn't fill me with confidence. Am I okay? Look at that sky. Hey, guys. Alright, I'm going to try to get a look at these guys. It's a terrible idea, but we're going to do it anyway. Big yikes. I'm seeing some light over there. I wonder if that's a sight of grace. Pretty sure I'm going to try to kill those guys at some point. It's just who I am <laughs> as a person. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to rest because I've basically burned through all my flasks. We that it it cuts me to a black screen. Oh wait, something's gone gone. Obi Wan. Oh. Greetings, traveller from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I offer you an accord. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? They serve the Two Fingers, offering guidance and aid to the Tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. I can play the role of Maiden. Turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. Then it's settled. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Spectral Steed Whistle. Use it to traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Shall I turn your runes to strength? Sure. Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment. Share them with me. With a level up menu, you can spend runes to increase your attributes. With each attribute increase, your level rises by one. As level increases... Okay. So... Okay, we can get three levels. Maybe four if I go like that. No. Oh no, it's level, not skill. Okay, so that's going to boost uh, my defense and my health. That's going to boost my attack damage. I need to remember what the stats do, to be honest. Um. Mm. 
I do like endurance because I like being able to roll, like I say, rather than. It doesn't really make sense to ro play a roller. I should I should play a sword, a shield builder based on what I picked. Although you can you can move out from that, like I say. Um, also, what do you do again? So it's HP, stamina, which is good, and robustness, and how heavy your equipment can be. And the more heavy equipment you can carry, the more you can roll rather than block. Um, strength is my physical defense. So the point is, if you're going to be a rolling character, you should probably go for dexterity over strength, really. But I mean, my strength is only one higher than dexterity. I wouldn't say I've been put into either category at this point in time. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some points into endurance just to kick things off. And one into dexterity. Let's go for a... like that, yeah. And now I can completely decide between the two. Oh, cheers, Melina. Use the Spectral Steed Whistle to summon and ride your Spectral Steed. If your Spectral Steed dies, you can summon it again. It costs a flask of Crimson Tears to do so. Quet. Ah, right, okay. So, equipment, pouch. So then we go, uh, um, okay, why? I thought I equipped it, I'm confused. I'm sure I'm being stupid, but. <laughs> oh, I've put it, I've put it in the wrong place. Um. I will figure this out. Just give me, just give me a minute. Just give me a minute. Because it's now here at the bottom, right? It's there. Well, that's where I want it to be. In, that, in the same slot as where that is right now. That one. Which you can see has a different icon on it. So how do I change that? Where is that in, re in relation to this stuff? I have no idea. Tutorial, come back please! <laughs> I need your help again! I'll right, figure it out next time. Oh! And there is Torrent to finish things off. My horse. Unicorn. Think. Ah, Torrent's amazing. Why? Whoa! Torrent has a magical, pretty <laughs> double jump. <laughs> and a dash. How do I hop off? X. Alright, that's pretty sweet. Uh, how do we save the game? Try to remember that as well. Is it an autosave or. How does Dark Souls save? I genuinely don't remember. I think it's an autosave, so we should- Oh, I just saw it. I just saw the thing I'm looking for. There it is. So now, when I... Press Y. Basically, I hold Y. There you go. Cool. Yeah, that's that's better than it being down there because I don't want to accidentally be cl clicking it when I'm trying to, you know, heal up or something. Right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is Elden Ring. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, many moons from now, I suppose. It's gonna be a while till you guys see this video. It's gonna be quite a long time till you guys see this video. But I'm very excited to uh, dig into the game and just play it when I've got a bit of free time over the coming. Uh, weeks and stuff. Next video, we'll we'll aim a little bit more for the actual current direction, I suppose. We'll head down here. But uh, I do intend to explore fairly fully, as has probably been made pretty apparent. What is that? We'll go check out what that is as well. There's something over there. Cool. Thank you for joining me. Cheers, much as always. Bye-bye.